Any other comments from the council? Thank you, Ms. Wagner. Thank you. Going to new business consideration and action to approve the 2011-2012 FEDC uh, fiscal year budget. We have uh, the Honorable Colonel with us tonight, Colonel Pettis. numbers are as of 22 August 2011. You've got to have a base from which it starts and then continue forward. The bank balance in cash, 56411 and 13 cents. Uh, checking account, I should say. The money market account, 192640 cents. A CD at the bank, 56776 and 43 cents. Total in the bank as of 22 August 2011. Three hundred five thousand eight hundred twenty-eight and two cents. We still have expenditures that we're paying for this fiscal year that have to come out of this amount, uh, and part of the debt service for August and September 2011, a total of one hundred twenty-six thousand five hundred forty-seven and eighty-seven cents. We expect to, in the month of September, sales tax uh, receipts, uh, which we've not yet received, but we expect to get that that amount. $60,000, and then cash in the bank projected for fiscal year 2011 at the year-end, $239,280.15. In fiscal year 2012, projected income from the beer warehouse rentals, $7,500. From the interest of bear accounts, $550. From, uh, repayment on the senior apartment loan, that we're collecting currently, $12,715. <clears throat> Projected sale of land, different, uh, we have properties at the Veterans Park, we have properties at uh, Business Park, and also our, uh, the old Haidu property. So we're projecting a $250,000 uh, revenue coming from the sale of land. And then the projected sales tax revenue for the year, fiscal year 2012, we're projecting 570,000. And we're averaging, uh, we're believing the projection would be about 44,000 uh, per month. Could be higher. We're not yet sure what the impact of the Walmart would be and all the new activity that we have. And as the auditor pointed out, you're always two months behind uh, what, you, what you receive based on what you collect. So, I dare say by November we'll know what the impact will be and then we may make some adjustments in, in our numbers. What we're projecting total funds available for fiscal year 2012 is $1,080,045.15. On the expenditures, at the beer warehouse, we're, and we always have to maintain, do something to keep that place looking good, $3,500. Downtown renovation, Basically, it's going to include finishing out a couple of the buildings that we haven't finished working on yet, the facades, and also concentrate on making the, the sidewalks handicap accessible. We're projecting 50000 for that. 
the Lone Oak Business Park, the old Hyduk property, $10,000 for that. The Rancho Grande Business Park, with uh, we've got currently five contracts on, on different parcels of property. And if these contracts come into fruition and the companies that we're dealing with actually come into Floresville, then we'll have to spend some money to, to complete the infrastructure projects that we have out there. So we're estimating $250,000 for that. Personnel, with my salary and the taxes that we have to pay, $70,000. Administration, $19,100. Marketing and promotion, $24,550. That could change. Uh, Notify today there may be some changes at the courthouse uh, because you know the problems that they're having. We may not be able to light the courthouse this year because we may not have access to it. So we're going to have to try to figure out what else can we do to light up the downtown area during the holiday season. A debt service on the two loans that we have, $188,019. We still owe the early college $200,000, $200, and we expect to pay them one half of that this year, $100,000. And we also have an amount due to the city for our civic servant area support, $123,000. Total expenditures, $838,169. Total cash to cash reserves at the end of fiscal year, fiscal year 12. Is two hundred forty-one thousand eight hundred seventy-six and fifteen cents. I also have a note at the end of the budget to indicate to the council that the board did uh, consider the request for the FEC to support uh, funds uh, to upgrade sports facilities, expansion, enhancement. Uh, the board of directors committed to, to pledge one hundred twenty-five thousand per year for twenty years started in fiscal year 2030. And as the note says, the FEC will not own the debt, but rather pay the amount pledged to the city as required on an annual basis for the debt service. The impact on the FEC budget would be seen in fiscal year 13. If revenue projections hold true, and we expect them to do so, the FEC would have the capacity to provide the support. If you look on page two, it gives you a breakdown of the expenditures that I explained. Um, and, you know, just kind of a little bit more in detail. But we expect that, uh, based on, on what we're seeing, uh, we've got a lot of activity, a lot of different companies are calling us, different uh, real estate dealers uh, from uh, Chicago, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and we're getting some locals from the state of Texas, you know, Austin, San Marcos, and also mm -hmm. some interest from the different oil uh, the companies that relate to the oil uh, industry that, that all the activity that's going to the south and southwest of Florida But we believe that next year will be a good year and, I, and we actually believe in the projections that we've made and we request that the council approve the budget as presented. Regarding the proposed budget, hey, well, I have a comment. Um, yeah. First of all, I want to thank y'all for the hard work y'all done at the DC Colonel. Um, you know, I look at these numbers and it's, you know, it's good to see that, first of all, it's positive. Um, you, me you mentioned the, uh, the reinforcement in, uh, in business coming to the community. Um, not including the ones that are already here, that are making an impact on sales. Um, having said that, uh, we appreciate that that y'all look into funding the communities, the uh, park and rec uh, facilities, and we do appreciate that. Uh, that should be a positive impact on our on our kids in the future. Uh, other than that, I, I want to go ahead and. Uh, Approve the 2011, make the motion to approve the 2011 2012 FEDC fiscal year budget. Motion by Gomez, second by Castillo to approve the FEDC budget 2011 2012 as presented. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.
All opposed? Motion carries 4 0. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Colonel. Thank you once again for uh, your support on the, on the sports complex. Mayor, just uh, before we move on to the next uh, yes. item, I just want to bring uh, bring <coughs> the flight to the projected sales tax revenue that he's projecting $570,000.
very proud of this accomplishment. So in our first year of operation, we were actually in the last we finished the year. First year of operation. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to everybody. Any uh, further discussion on the 4A budget? I make the motion to approve the 2011-2012 Florida 4A fiscal year budget. Okay. Motion by Gomez, second by Flotus to approve the 4A budget as presented for 2011-2012. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you. <coughs> Let's move on to the next item consideration of action to accept bids for track to fail to sell the tax foreclosure sale. Which will actually be number two on your uh, on your list there. The property listed is lot 18, block J, railroad edition. And that's how the distribution will be made. Can I ask, where's this at? You know where that's at, Andy, or Harvard? G. No.